the, the last thing I want to go over are the equations that we can use to draw those curves that we've been looking at. Um, and we'll first talk about the, the current equations in the triad region of operation. That is the linear and nonlinear region of operation. So let's actually go back a little, a few slides. So this region here, that's the child region. Uh, oops. So anything on this side of the dashed line that represents the edge of saturation, that's the child region. Anything on the other side of the line is the saturation region. Okay, so these curves are nonlinear, and we want to describe that. So, in order for us to be in triode, we first have to satisfy two conditions. We need to have an induced channel, so we need to have VGS greater than the threshold voltage, and simultaneously we need to have VDS less than VGS minus VT. So this means we're not in saturation. If we satisfy both those equations, then this is the equation that you're going to use to figure out what the drain current is for a particular VGS and for a particular VDS. There are two different ways to write that equation. In this case, you're just lumping um, some of these fabrication parameters, uh, mobility, um, oxide capacitance, uh, into this parameter uh, K sub N prime. Or you can lump all of these fabrication parameters, including the, the width and length of the transistor gate, into this capital uh, K sub N. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but this is my transistor. Here's my gate. Here's my source. Here's my drain. That's length, and if you draw this a little bit more, 3D, uh, then that's the width. Okay, so if we aren't in triode, then we are in saturation. Um, we need to simultaneously satisfy two conditions. Same condition, we need to have that uh, inversion layer there, so VGS has to be greater than VT. But we also have to satisfy the condition for a saturation voltage, so VDS has to be greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. And if we satisfy both those conditions, then these are the equations that we can use. Um, so this is not, um, this, this is, will just give you some constant value. Um, notice that there's no VDS here, so it's not changing as a function of VDS. If I plot this drain current as a function of VDS, it's not going to change. And here's just two different representations of that same equation.